what is good friend hope you're having a fantastic day welcome back to seven days 1.0 experiment to release it is the morning of day 22 the morning after horde night here are our to do's for today uh armor needs something i kind of want to touch on and then challenge more dangerous pois which is something that i've been putting off for a couple episodes because our loadout wasn't that great but i'm very confident with our little two tier two machete and, and then we got a uh tier four pistol but i believe i might yeah i did i did i knew it i did craft a uh tier five which in fact let's take a look little educational a moment here so tier, tier fives had three slots and tier fours i believe have two no they also have three okay so from from one to three you get two and then from four to five you get three and then the sixth one do we have anything six we have a knife that's six let's check it out really quick knife that is six uh modify and you do four all right there you go there you go a little bit of teaching for you was meant to be if you had a question about that great if you didn't then it's still food for thought i guess so i need to put i need to place our goodies where they go where they belong okay that's why i have an empty spot here i was like wait why do i have an empty spot but let's go ahead and strip this handgun off its goods and place it into the new one and what do we want here here uh let me see so we have a uh, burst mod versus a full auto mod let's try the full auto mod why not we'll do the red light and then it's well it has to be this one this is 20 percent chance to cripple a leg on a bipedal target uh we'll leave it like that and i guess we'll put the die on it x out of it put it down whenever you do modify a gun it will always remove its ammo so make sure you're aware of that and then we can put this handgun back now i do have one more handgun and i can use this uh for the parts which we obviously needed in order to create that five tier five um handgun so like i said i'm confident with our loadout and i think we could start challenging a little bit more um higher tier poi so having said that it's it's time to move and we need to kind of start preparing for that and my ideal world uh was going to be living in the snow biome even though it is really really far away well actually when i first started the series i'm like i wanted to to hang out permanently in the desert but this this freaking town is so tiny look it's tiny it's like no that's not good that's that's not a good town to um to hang out in so i'm hoping that this is a little bit bigger and obviously it's a lot more dangerous um but it's not as dangerous as the wasteland so i'm not saying we're moving there today but we got to be thinking about this move before the next horror night uh because we obviously got to get started on a horror night as well so we'll always, always need to be improving ourselves by making cement because that's what that's what's needed to protect ourselves and eventually uh, steel as well. So a lot of mining, uh, we got to keep uh, we got to keep that in mind. So that goes into armor needs. Let's go into armor right here and see what we're rocking right now. I need to start making a at least a tier three miner armor, right? So we got the helmet uh and then all right guys so this is a hot mess i try to organize this it'd be cool i think i need to get this chest um upgraded to the steel a material which would give us two more rows i believe and what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to organize this uh in some sort of way so that we're able to see what we're missing so i have the assassin helmet hood up here but i don't have anything else that's assassin related i would put the outfit the gloves and then the shoes the one I have the most of is the nerd stuff. Actually, no, this isn't this isn't part of it. I don't have nerd shoes. Uh, I'm not sure what nerd shoes look like. Obviously, I can look it up. But if you if if I if you go from left to right, you have first you have the headgear, then the outfit, again the gloves, and then the shoes. And this would be kind of a way for you to organize yourself and say, hey, I have a full uh, nerd outfit. I have a third a, a full minor outfit, and then a a full farmer outfit. Obviously, you would put these on when you're doing those specific activities. So. That's kind of what I talked about when I want to cover armor. And I do now, now that I see this, I kind of have an idea because my focus is, is going to be uh, to get a full farmer outfit as well as a full miner outfit. And this will obviously help us when we're out there uh, gather, gathering resources. It'll be more, uh, more time, better time efficiently, efficient for you. 
to mine with the full outfit obviously because you get a lot more for your for your time so we're, we got to work on this and what i mean by that is i can probably create a whole outfit uh maybe tier three because of the amount of uh resources that we have but anyways having said that enough talking dang it's already 12 30 uh let's go see jen and see if she's got any like tier three infested or maybe even a tier four that's not too far away all right all right and if you've seen if you've seen videos before or series before of mine you'll know that the day after horror night is always going to be a shorter episode because the horror night bleeds into the so, next morning what are you buying today and i like to start my episodes like right at 4 a.m uh when there isn't a horror night so maybe we'll get a couple of pois today i'm not sure let's take a look here what kind of jobs do you have ma'am here they are tier fours fetch and clear port camo uh kind of i kind of like this the pass and go store uh wasted stiffs <laughs> you know what i think we might do wasted stiffs um only because the name is catchy but also because i do we do need some tool parts right in order to improve our our tool set here uh so let's go ahead and do that i think i've got a job or two yeah Thanks, and then when did you reset let me see today's day 22 may i see your inventories you probably reset today uh i'm not sure if i have a beaker i'm not sure but you don't reset to the 25 to, to, to the 25th so we're good with that we can leave that lingering for now uh handgun parts i might need those and then what else oh you know what we need guys we need a chemistry station that was one thing and there was something else that i needed and this is why i have those little boards to remind me of stuff but i didn't write this down um i forgot to write down a reminder how poetic is that so there's something else I want. There's something else I need besides the chemistry station. But it'll come to me when I'm fighting. Because I'll be like, oh yeah, I needed this. We already have a crucible. We have everything for the for the the traps. So one thing on the traps, I know in the you past, in the previous video, I, I was trying to repair them and I was missing forged iron. But you do need electrical parts. You need both forged iron and electrical parts um, to repair a um, uh, the electric wires. The ones that shock the the zombies but anywho let's go get to the let's get to the steer four quests and see how we do all right guys a little bit of a detour and you know what i'm glad it's a detour because i think i just ran into another savage country that we have not hit up so i'm gonna mark this really really quick call it savage like it uh because i do want to hit that up eventually even if it, even if it's not a, an actual quest so the detour was to come over and grab the supply drop i don't know how long this has been out here but it's been out here oh look at that they gifted me eight steel axe tier one and then we have crafting magazine books so let's go ahead and read these we got tactical warfare scrapping for fun and a knife guy so i wanted to show you this this is kind of what i was blabbing about earlier so we need eight more forge ahead magazines to get our chemistry station uh opened up and that'll obviously get us over to the gasoline and to making better gunpowder and all that jazz and there was something else again I, I can't remember maybe handguns yeah so i need to put i need to place more points into handguns which i think we do have them right agility uh yeah we have four or five i don't know why i'm not getting more but i do want to also do the hidden strike ordeal we're gonna put one into archery i know the trend that i'm seeing is stealth stealth even though we don't have like the full stealth armor setup stealth is king uh i'm seeing people doing like tier fives like stealth at night and get through it unscathed um it's a little bit uneventful as far as the entertainment value in my opinion but it gets the job done you know what i mean like they come out of there alive with a bunch of loot and it's a beautiful thing and i kind of want to show you guys that i mean i'm all for like running into a building and going crazy and jumping and screaming for your life and that's fun for you guys that creates really really good content but I think playing smart is also a um, it's a val very valuable experience. You know what I'm going to do is... Uh, what am I not going to get here? What am I not going to get here? Uh, I feel like I'm going to get everything. Okay, let's risk it. This is a little bit of a risk. I'm actually... We're going to play with our uh, PP Puncher. He's going to help us out today. And so this is working stiff tools. Clear and retrieve supplies. All right, cool. Gotta make sure I remember to clear and retrieve supplies. So we place points into sneak and archery. I know there's someone back here, but it's almost impossible to get to him without waking him up, I think. Let me see. Let's try it. Oh, there's also... Yeah, no, you can't. Even if I jump? 
Well, the thing is, there's nobody back here. So <laughs> sometimes when you feel like you know a POI, uh, you, you really don't. I got Big Mama. What's up, Big Mama? What will it be today? What can I get you? Double Whopper with cheese? Gotcha. Oh, she jumped for it. As soon as I said that, she's like, I'm jumping on you. I want it. I want the double Whopper. Oh, and I want to one shot you. A thing of beauty. I don't know how much time I should be spending on looting the little stuff. Since I don't have a lot of time in the episode, but I mean, maybe we're just... I do need glue, though. I need glue and tape. Maybe some cloth, maybe a machete part. So perhaps it's actually... No, you know what? It's very smart that we're looting. We're getting good stuff. I don't know about the... The hops plant, but other than that... I see, I see. You see the, you see the green over there? Let's see if we can do a little sneak damage on it. Yeah. Yep, we got it. 5.4. Whoa. That's always going to kick your butt. Whenever you're not walking in a flat surface, you're going to... Oh, man. These guys are freaking beefy. You're going to miss. You're going to miss your shots. Take that. Take that. Oh, you know what I needed to do, guys? Well, for starters, not miss my shots. Like that. Um, I needed to get the rad remover mod. Where do I have it? I have it somewhere. I have it somewhere. Oh, I have it on my melee weapon. Okay, I guess that makes sense. I'm not mad at that. Where are you going, bro? You have no arm. You're going to attack me with one arm? I don't like your chances. All right, let's go ahead and grab a little bit of a vitamin. That is a preventive move right there. In case we do get touched, which we have already. It completely eliminates the chances of you getting infected. Oh, nice. Gun parts. We are rocking that gun build, remember. So we need all the gun parts we can get. We can get all the we need all the glue we can get. We can find. Oh, what what's up, dude? Yeah, I saw you. I saw you really, really late there. Oh, but these I'm I'm finding out, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, please do. Oh, there's a satch on the other side. Is normal zombies are like 100% shot, one shot. Watch this. Look at that. The only one that wasn't was that burnt one. That burnt one was a little funny because he wasn't feral. He wasn't radiated. However, it took me a couple shots. You guys saw that. You guys saw that it took me like four shots just to get him down. I love the fact that I'm getting glue out of this place. And cloth. And other stuff that we don't need. All right, here we go. Let me show you how we use the PP puncher in this type of idea uh, ordeal here. PP puncher will always do work. Look at that. Uh, so if you ever feel overwhelmed, you place them down. You'll knock them up. You take care of them. Yeah, this is a thing. Feel free to use that. I did not invent that. That is not my original plan. I seen it and now I'm sharing it with you guys. This ramp is here for a reason. Is it for me to climb up here? Kind of just look at the... Scope out the area. All right, good. There's probably somebody in there. Should we check? Oh, yeah, we got plenty of ammo to check. Wait, how come they didn't destroy it? Usually it destroys anything that's cloth or curtain. Oh, there it is. But I don't see anyone. Ah, oh, it only does the bottom part. Okay, that's fine. We're going to have to fight. Or maybe there's no one in there. There's a little purse. That's about it. Oh, we searched the clothing piles. There you go. Because of that. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't see you, my dude. Oh, I guess we're one-shotting ferals too. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Maybe doing tier fours is not so bad after all. But you know what? I am doing them in the burnt uh, biome. I get it. I get it. For all of you who caught that, I understand. It's not, it's not the snow biome and it's not the wasteland. I know. So I, I shouldn't be like celebrating like I've just accomplished the biggest thing in gaming history. It's not that big of a deal. I get it. But I'm pretty proud of myself. I mean, we're pretty much getting through unscathed, which is like. Oh, ho, 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 look at that. Um, When you say getting through unscathed, you're really saying, hey, this game, I'm about to die in this POI. You know what I mean? Hopefully we don't, but I do want to go ahead and empty out our inventories. We're kind of close to the entrance, so let's do that really quick. All right, cool. You know what I just realized, though? Like, so that burnt zombie that I took forever to kill, 
if it was done on purpose where like hey you're in the burnt biome so the burnt zombies are harder to kill i i love that that i'm i can get down with that that is a really like that's a good call i doubt that's the case i think i'm giving them too many too much credit <laughs> to be honest with you it was probably a one-off but that would be awesome if you're like hey i'm gonna chill in the burnt biome so all the burnt zombies are harder to kill and if you're in the snow biome the lumberjacks jacks are harder to kill you know what i mean that'll kind of add more to the game i feel and then another thing yes for all of you who are wondering i'm not wearing a full assassin suit which would give me like a complete stealth i'm missing two out of the four items and maybe one day i'll run it i'm not sure um i know it's a popular thing but for now this is what we're rocking we'll stick with it it's what i have highest ranked so i really don't want to lower my um my tier rank just you know just to get a benefit that i'm not even sure what it is to be honest with you i think it's like more spell skills or something like that uh when these guys get stuck on this side of a door sometimes you have to close it for them so that they can line up and they, in this case they didn't oh there there they are all right come on we got feral steve oh we just got knocked onto the wall sorry my dude pp puncher doing its thing there you go see great work teamwork as the wonder pets would say that's what's gonna work let's do it even them up the way th the sounds that these guys make in 1.0 are kind of disturbing to be honest with you someone compared it to um a bunch of frogs inside his throat it it's about right it's about right let's go ahead and eat this sham chowder we'll read the home cooking home cooking weekly and then scrap the nails we're doing well. I dropped off all the stuff that we had in the first part of the raiding in our bike. Oh, I got one, not two. Let's go ahead and take care of that guy. Dunsies. So our stealth game is good when we can stealth. But as I've told you before, I'm not that patient dude that can just kind of be like this the entire time looking for a zombie to stealth. I, I, I can be, but it's going to take me a little bit to retrain my mind. Oh, that is amazing, though. The timing on that was perfect. Oof. Nice. Get my ammo back, brother. All right, what's in here? Who's in here? No one. Oh, we got nice. I like searching these because you get mad snails. We got uh, steel arrowheads and more 9mm ammo. Very good. Ammo's kind of hard to come by. You got to mine for it. Uh, it's expensive. So if you mine for it, uh, you um, you spend a lot of time doing that. And then you don't get, you don't spend time doing other stuff. That makes sense. So if you can pick it in a loot, then you're better for it. Or if you can actually just use your melee weapon as much as you can and not use up the ammo, then that's even better, right? Pero yo... Is Pharaoh no mo? Where is my satch? Okay, I'm a little concerned because I saw it on the other side of a wall and now I'm on the other side of the wall, I think. No, I'm not. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, we got outsiders. You guys aren't fun. Come here, bro. Like, what, what are you doing? What? Why? Why? What, what was your end game right there? Like, what was your end game plan? You're going to annoy the heck out of me until I come out and take care of you with one shot. You could have just been walking off, minding your own business. I wouldn't have even noticed you were there. I would have passed you by, and no nothing would have came of it. You would have survived. You would have lived to, you know, play another day, as they say. But he had to come at me. He had to. Wait, do we have parts? You know what? I do have parts, but I put them away. Where is... Okay, I I'm pretty sure the satch is going to be across the, the other side, so let's go. I'm going to have my little... Keep PP puncher queued up in case we get ambushed, which and we are. Look at this. Look at all these zombies. Okay, there's one. There's a second. Who just completely bypassed. Oh, it's because it's a PP puncher. She doesn't have a PP. So that makes sense. That makes all the sense in the world. Oh my gosh. Barrel boy. Oh, 
Dang! Handgun doing work. Tier 5, baby. It's not a tier 6. It's a tier 5. Let me remind you. Good job. Oh, wait. Did they, oh, my PB puncher is broken. We need to repair it. We do have 8 repair kits on our person. So, where? There is the satch. We cannot forget this, guys. We cannot. All right. And this is a little trap right here. So, let's go ahead and grab our working stiff tools chest i mean box see what's in it uh mining there you go steel tool parts see this is this is why i wanted to do this type of poi because i knew we were going to get um those uh, a high probability of getting the steel parts so that's awesome the fact that we got four right there is great and i do want to stack up is this cement this is not cement that looks like cement but it's not cement if you're going to look like cement you better be cement are you cement you're not cement either what the heck what in the world's all right, so anyway, so this is a trap. Unfortunately, if you fall, if you step on this thing, I think you fall to the ground, obviously, right? That's what a trap is. But I believe I was supposed to press this button here. And then let's go ahead and queue up the PP puncher. As we know, a PP puncher does not whip punch female zombies. So be aware of that. Hence the name, PP puncher. All right, and it looks like we haven't cleared the area yet. Probably somebody in here that I'm missing out on, and it's already seven, and it's gonna be one of those things where okay, so we got a little side entrance. I like it. Oh my gosh, I don't see anybody, but I know there's somebody. Let's see. Do we turn if we turn off the lights? Does that make a difference? Does it? Does it? All right, we got we got vision, we got visual. Ah, uh, yeah. See, when I stealth, I can do it. I can do it, guys. Is that somebody right there? Nope. That is just the corner of the blocks, the box. Of the cardboard box um that is happens to be dark All right very cool and we got a five tier five iron pickaxe and then more repair kits i like it when they return items that i use while in battle always feels good uh but where are the rest of the zombies i'm a little concerned is it uh, they're on top right but how do i get up there where is my ladder all right, I just totally cheated. I well, okay, so we were supposed to go through here, but I just nerd pull my way up there. I didn't really nerd pull; I just jumped. I don't. I didn't need to nerd pull my way up. Um, but I, I'm not seeing the last, the last room. Totally spacing out on it. I'll find it. I need to find it. It's almost time to get back home. It's gonna be sad if we complete a POI and can't and don't have the, the re the time to turn it in. Like really sad. But I'm thinking, if I'm being honest, that the last room is going to be where I didn't want to, like, just kind of fall down to the bottom level. So, let's just do it. I know. It's not fun. Jumping down somewhere where you don't, you don't know what's going to happen, it's, 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 it's pretty, pretty terrifying. I'm going to put you down here, buddy. You go first. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. PP puncher. I need your help. PP puncher punch. PP puncher. Come on, buddy. I believe. Get him. Good boy. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Oh, you are a lifesaver. Oh, 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 thank you so much. Ooh, my new best friend. Okay, you guys saw he saved the day. I would have been goners. Although I didn't even get tagged once. I'm missing 5 HP. But yeah, I would have been, I would have been goners. Uh, we're good. We got to go up this little ladder. Uh, what's in here? Uh, lock picks. Okay. Here's the main loot. All right. Um, I think there's a button. I kind of want to like put my boy down and then run and press that button and get out. Yeah. This is, this is going to be a brave move. You guys ready? Don't blink. Go. Go, 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 go. No, 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 I can't. There we go. All right. Cool. Oh yeah, this this was the way to do it. You don't want to face these guys in a little four by four room. You know what I mean? This is in phone booth. Ow! Why'd you run at me? I know my bad habit of cornering myself. Oh, I got infected. My vitamin ran out. That's not good. I don't have honey, but we do need to heal up a little bit. And we're good. All right. And we have time to return to the trader. So let's go ahead and pick up our boy. Loot up. 
Uh, nice, some ammo. Now, the reward for tier 4s is leaves a lot to be desired, to be honest with you. So, don't expect greatness. Be prepared to be disappointed. And that's okay. We're doing this for the... We're doing this for the memes. Wiring 101, vehicle book, and a tech junkie book we've already read. We got Angry Steve right here, who's not dying. And then tier 4 treasure chest i gotta get to this quick and then we gotta get home to good old jen so that she can give us our reward like i said it's not gonna be great go ahead and open it up uh we got some ammo tools digest and then time charges and i need to i need to make decisions here and get rid of stuff that it's gonna hurt to get rid of it but i have to there that did it all right guys i'll meet you at jen's i'm gonna be real with you i don't know that we make it run 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 40 i think we get kicked out at 452 maybe 49 either way we're gonna rush i'm not gonna try to sell or anything i just want my reward I am well and like i said it's work. not the greatest uh <laughs> i guess gunpowder all right cool we did it we're about to get kicked out actually let's find out how long it takes for us to get kicked out just for the science I just hope that she doesn't kick us out like on the other side of my motorbike. She did. So it was exactly at 50 after. Whoa. Where am I? Oh my gosh. Hold on. What the heck? Okay. That was a bad experiment. Forget science next time. Okay. That's excessive. I've never been kicked out that far before. What's up, dude? You want to be in my video? All right. I got you. You're starring in it. How about that? <laughs> Bend that knee, boy. Let's go. Got my little house of dragon in, in me right there. Wait, where is... I've never been kicked out of my... Okay, okay, okay. I went I went, I went chasing for that bike, but my bike is over here. My good bike is over here. So I totally went the wrong way. But that was... You guys have to admit, that was pretty far. That was really, really far. Usually get kicked out like maybe a couple blocks away, but not... Oh! Wait, what? No. You, no, that's my dinner. Stop. Drip. Oh. You see that? The minute I took the poor coyote out, this one like dove in there like it was a pool. She said, yum yum. Not today. Alright, let's grab our motorbike. Now, I purposely left it a little bit outside of... I don't know if they fixed this. Because before, if you left it too close, you couldn't get in. You would just get bounced back. There was a uh, invisible dark force that would push you back. And if you left your bike too close inside, you wouldn't be able to ride it until the morning time. So you gotta... You, I don't know if that's still the case. I don't want to try it. As far as we got ported over this last time, I don't I don't even want to try to to try to get in there. Because they'll probably send us over to the snow biome or something. But anywho, I'm going to clean up, guys. That's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you liked, what you didn't like. Uh, if you want to help out the channel, please like and subscribe. Please take care of yourselves. Always make good choices and I'll see you on the other side.